Now that a black man has achieved nomination in one of the U.S.'s two uh, major political parties, are we ready to come to the conclusion that affirmative action has worked and has passed its course? To remedy discrimination against blacks in America, in 1961, President John F. Kennedy signed the Affirmative Action Framework, meant to make government contractors take affirmative action as to not prefer people of certain races, creeds, colors, or national origin over others. Today, however, the meaning of affirmative action is opposite. Affirmative action is meant to mean to prefer people of certain races, creeds, colors, or national origin. Somehow, it is believed that two wrongs make a right. With the media, and perhaps the majority of the American people on Obama's side, the question is, just how many black presidents, senators, governors, and billionaires will it take to cause a psychological shift among blacks in America towards less dependence on the government? If you're just like everybody else, why do you need special treatment? Obama's ascendancy, perhaps even to office, shows blatantly and abundantly that Martin Luther King's dream has been realized. Not only can little white boys and little black boys eat lunch together, they can run the government together, which might be treated the same way. Perhaps it's about time for Obama to say, ending affirmative action is a change we can all believe in.